Welcome to the sign up segue feature in Thrive Leads. This is an excellent way to sign people up to things with just a single click. And to explain what it does, I wanna give you an example of a webinar registration. This would be a typical way to use sign up segue, although it's not the only way it can be used. So here's how this normally works. You have a mailing list with subscribers and you would send them a link, you would send them an email with a link that goes to a webinar sign up page. And on this page, they enter their name and their email address, maybe some other things, and that signs them up to a webinar event that may be taking place on GoToWebinar. This is the typical process and it works, but on closer inspection, you can see that on this page, we're asking subscribers to do something that's really redundant because signing up through a form like this is exactly what they already did before to get on our mailing list in the first place. So we're asking them for information that we actually already have about them and we're just making them jump through some extra hoops without any real reason. And also on this page, you'll see that, you know, typically you lose about 50% of the traffic. So the conversion rate of a page like this is probably gonna be around 50%, which means that half of the people who click on the link and initially were interested in the webinar can't be bothered to fill out yet another form. So while this setup does work, it is very, very inefficient. And the signup segue links are here to solve this problem. So with signup segue, the new process is you send an email to your mailing list, they click on a link in that email and they are signed up directly to the GoToWebinar or other webinar event, no extra steps needed. And actually it's even better than that because the sign up to the webinar event happens in the background while your visitors are redirected to a custom confirmation page. So there's a page where you can send a confirmation message, tell them, yes, you've been signed up to this event, good stuff, plus anything else can go on this page. So you can have custom content here, you can have a personal video message, you can advertise a product, you can link to your latest blog post, you can do whatever you want, which gives you a whole lot of new traffic potential to work with that before was just wasted on an unnecessary sign-up page. In Thrive Leads, you have to have at least one active API connection for this to work, and then you can go to the Thrive Leads main dashboard. When you scroll down here, you'll see sign-up segue, one-click sign-up links. So let's click on add new, and I'll call this demo to add a new one. And now we have a link that is pending and we need to do two setup steps. The first is we want to link it to one or more services. So right here you can see that there's no connections with this link. We click on add new and here you can choose whatever service you want from the list of your existing API connections. I'm going to go with go to webinar and it will give me a list of all the events I can connect to and I could choose one and save that. And I can even add more connections. So you can sign up through one link to more than one service at a time. I'll stick with just this one go to webinar event though and click on save. And then here I can see this has been updated. It shows me that whenever someone clicks on this link, they will be sent to this go to webinar event. The second step is to go to this gear icon and set up what happens with the redirect. So when someone clicks on the link, they will be signed up in the background and then redirected to a page. And you can have two types of redirects, we'll just look at the simple one. You can either link to some content on your site and you can just start typing a name of a page, for example, and that will give you examples uh, that will show you searchable content and you can choose one of the pages on your site. Or you can enter a custom URL. So any URL you wanna send to, you just enter in this field and then click on save. As soon as you've set up these two things, you will see that the link becomes active and you can now start using it. So now you can either click in this field and copy this or click on this copy link right here. And you can then use this link in your email marketing system. I'm gonna show it to you in Active Campaign, which is the one I use. So if I go here and I'm just going to paste this link in here, you can see that we have a link with some parameters and we have in square brackets name and email. And you wanna replace these two with the name and email equivalents in your autoresponder. And every email marketing system has a slightly different way of doing this. So what I do is I just highlight this whole thing 
name in brackets and I go to personalize and I insert the first name. And so this is the first name token in Active Campaign. This will replace this token in the link with the actual first name of that email subscriber. And then I can do exactly the same with the email address. I highlight this whole thing, personalize, and choose email address. And so in every autoresponder or email marketing system, this will be slightly different, but the process is basically always the same. There's always some way to insert these personalization tags or merge fields that will replace a token with the receiver's email address. And by the way, if you don't have a first name, you can just replace this with a dash, for example, which means that everyone's first name will just be filled out with a dash and that's it. But you have to have an email token for this link to work. So with this link now, with the correct token inside, I cut this and this is what I can use. So if I create an actual link, this is the link I insert. And anyone who clicks on this link will be immediately signed up to the GoToWebinar event and sent to my custom landing page. And that's how the sign up segue link in Thrive Leads works to make things more convenient for your subscribers and much more effective for you.